car, and it's coming to America, is the all-electric Volvo EX30. Now, what's unique about this EX30, they forgot to make it ugly. About four miles per kilowatt hour, which is a little better than range than you get out of the Teslas. It's going to be at $35,000, and it's coming here later this year. In fact, they've, you can already order them from Volvo. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. I'm joined today by Mike Herzog. How's it going today, Mike? Doing great, David. Working from home for the day and got my blurry background on. So the very first car, and it's coming to America later this year, is the all-electric Volvo EX30. Now, what's unique about this EX30 is that this is a small SUV. And of course, since it's an SUV, it's ugly. No, it's not ugly. They forgot to make it ugly. I like, I personally like the Volvo EV designs. I don't know, for whatever reason, they just pop pop a little bit to me. No, I think it looks really good. Now, it is four doors, but they call this a small SUV. I'm going to assume it's about the same size as a Ford Edge, you know, or maybe a RAV4. I think so. See, to me, that that looks like a RAV4, a CRV, um, a Ford Edge, kind of in that class there. In the United States, it's going to be at $35,000, and it's coming here later this year. In fact, they've, you can already order them from Volvo, and they're expecting to deliver them by the end of the summer. So that's only a couple of months away, and that is really inexpensive. So for April, the EX30, which was just released, ended up in second place for EV sales in Europe. Now, always the 800-pound gorilla of car sales is the Tesla Model Y. But when you look at this, this was for the month of April. The light blue are all-electric and the dark blue are plug-in hybrids. This 9,400 Tesla Model Ys was followed by the Tesla Volvo. I like it, it has a Tesla logo there with the, Vol <laughs> with the Volvo EX30, 8,600. I mean, that's just barely a difference there. Yeah, yeah. And they were far ahead of the Volkswagen ID4, which I've seen ID4s here in the U.S. They don't seem to sell as well here. I, You know, I, I see them every once in a while, um, but not often. I, I personally, I'm going to say I like the look of the Volkswagen ID4s as well. Um, I think that's a sharp looking vehicle. But can you scroll back up? I wanted to see the specs on this guy again. Yeah, estimated DC fast charging, 10 to 80 percent, 26 and a half minutes. Energy consumption per hundred miles, 26.5 kilowatt hours. And that means basically you're getting about four miles per kilowatt hour, which is a little better than range than you get out of the Teslas. This is zero to 60 and 3.4 which that's important to everybody driving a small SUV. And the range, it says EPA testing in progress. I'm just going to guess uh, it's probably going to be 200 to 300. I mean, at that size, I don't know how many more, how much more battery packs you get in there. I would guess it's going to be about 250. Yeah, most, most of your cars, their standard range is usually about 250. Oh, here we go. So it's about 280. Yeah, it's not bad. That's not bad. No, not at all. And, you know, it says 26 minutes for 10 to 80%. Yeah, you have a lot of these articles about fast charging. They talk about how quickly you can go from 20 to 80%. So sometimes you see different numbers referenced in this particular range uh, of where that will go. But I think it's a sharp looking car and it's a Volvo. So, you know, it's going to be, you know, people usually think of safety when they think of Volvo. It's going to be safety. It's a luxury brand. It's going to have nice features, nice interior. I think it's going to have the electronics you want. It's it's going to connect with your phone. It's going to do you know all the bells and whistles that you want to see with it. And at that at that price point, honestly, it's affordable. Um, you know, just for where the current car market is and how expensive everything is at thirty five thousand dollars starting place. That's not that's not an inexpensive vehicle. No, and here's where those numbers sit. There's the Tesla Model Y the EX30, the Volkswagen. But it, this isn't a big gap, 9,400 versus 8,600 between the Model Y and the EX30. That's definitely got to be hurting. You know, uh, Tesla's got to be looking at that because the EX30 is about to come to the US. It's going to be a serious competitor. When you look at US EV sales, Tesla is 51% of all EV sales in the United States. And so it's just really hard. And then you have all these other companies, you know, that make up this big list competing with with tesla and it's tough to see that i mean the model 3 only had 4400 sales now one of the arguments is that the teslas are starting to have a dated look they haven't changed now, the model 3 got a revamp this year but you know when you look at these most of these other cars are a new design 
And so got something new going on. You got you got the Audi came in fourth, Volvo, a Volkswagen ID3. So that, that's very interesting to me now that you bring that up. And have you heard any rumblings about that? About better better designs? You know, hey, we're going to come out with a new new exterior look, new interior, because that's just... It's the same. That's cyclical car business. Um, and it's one... All, all the major ones, all the traditional gas cars, yeah, every five, 10 years, like, oh, we've got to revamp this. It's not cosmetic changes. It's this needs to look different. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.